Hey everybody, it's Robert coming to you with another adventure into history and today I'm back out deep in the woods of Marion County, Georgia uh, with Mr. Cecil and he is uh, he's giving me a tour of some of the graves that he's documented or some of the cemeteries rather that he's documented out here in uh, Marion County and uh, I tell you the Jeep over there is really paying for itself in some of the places <laughs> that we've come. Uh, so this is the Singleton. Singleton Cemetery and this is far back in the woods, what about a half mile, mile? Not half mile. Half mile back. Um, so I guess this is a family cemetery and their home site would have been somewhere nearby. It's amazing how far back into the woods it is. These are cemeteries that I, I don't even know if I'd ever be able to find. How'd you find this one, Cecil? Uh, there's a book written in the early 80s by a local. She mentioned it in it and general area where it was. And I just so happened to know the guy that lived out by the road near here and he knew about it. Gotcha. And this is in the middle of timber property. If you look kind of in the woods all around us, um, I have to show it better later, but it's all pine trees. And in here, uh, as we got closer, you could spot it from all the old growth hardwoods that are in this section. And here we are in it. Let's take a look at some of these. Go over here first. This is a, a Confederate marker. This is J.F. Stewart, Company A, 46th the Georgia Infantry, Confederate States Army. Then there's another one over here. And another kind of these different um, style headstones. What's interesting is, is in the different counties, you know, we're 30, 40 miles away from where we usually film, but we've got such a different style of stone out here with these stamped uh, concrete stones that we're seeing quite often out here in Marion County. And we do see this style in other counties, just it seems to be more common out here. This is in memory of Annie Muldrow, wife of Seth W. Muldrow. Muldrow. Born May the 7th, 1821, and died December 3rd, 1907. And this cool obelisk over here. Small obelisk, it says Singleton at the bottom there. And it has a nice marble slab too with some detail on it. This is Robert. Oh wow, look at that engraving up top. I don't think I've seen that one before. This is Robert Singleton, born March 5th, 1826, and died February 15th, 1908. Engravings on the top of this. And then he's got a nice marble slab here. Let's try to brush it off. The best, the dearest, favorite of the sky must taste that cup for man is born to die it's actually kind of a different epitaph says died 
January 27th, 1902, age 79 years, 5 months and 11 days. Did you ever find the top of this one, Cecil? I've got a photo of where somebody came out here and repaired it at one time. Yeah. But the top has since missing. I don't know. I couldn't find it when gotcha. I came and surveyed it. But there are pictures on find a grave from when they repaired it. Gotcha. And it was actually back on it. Right. I wonder what happened. A little fenced in plot here. This is a quail, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Bob White quail. Bob White quail. Quail hollering out there. E. Mackey, Company F, 3rd Georgia Reserves, CSA. We've got these other two. These are neat little concrete markers. Huh, it says E. Mackey, First Wife. E. Mackey's daughter Hattie. E. Mackey's daughter Hattie. Wow, that's interesting right there. E. Mackey's first wife. I wonder where her second wife is. I guess we'll never know her name either. <laughs> yeah, I don't know her name. Just E. Mackey's first wife. What is that? I just walked across something right there. Guess it was nothing. Ground felt like it gave in a little bit. That's uh, that's interesting. Grave markers there. I guess someone came back and probably put these maybe later after they died, and that's why it simply says E. Mackey's first wife. It's actually pretty neat. I think that's all the marked ones. Somebody's came out here and surveyed them and put these plastic pieces where some are. Gotcha. Yeah. I saw these when they came up. Someone's marked the unmarked graves. There. I wonder how they were able to tell, because I couldn't, looking at it, I couldn't tell out here unless there's field stones or they replaced field stones. Just the, the indentions don't seem to be the same out here, but it's fascinating nonetheless. Oh, that's a box tomb. So these are usually pretty early. Generally speaking, pre-Civil War, at least in a lot of the counties we go to. Right there. There's rocks right here. Oh, really? Yeah. I hear them. Sure that one. Yeah, there's quite a few graves out here. We've got uh, one, two, three four and five there just on the unmarked ones kind of over here that's an amazing one for sure and it's so far back in the woods and of course we've seen cemeteries that are, are further off in the woods before but it's just it's interesting how far back this one is um, of course we have seen the old like Hollis Cemetery that was a good long walk back in the woods but that one used to be off of a, what was a public road at one time this one just seems to be down a, a series of trails it was fenced off at one time it's probably back in the days when this was farmed out here now it's being farmed for pine trees and uh, they're impressive out here. So we talk a lot about these uh, timberland and, and on videos, but I don't think I've ever been into a place uh, where it's so evident as this here. I mean, this was uh, clear cut a few years ago. You can see 
the trees that the stumps from the trees or this could be from thinning it out and uh, then replanted and grown up and it's just uh, there's there's thousands of acres of land like this in Georgia that's owned by timber companies and then later leased to hunters and uh, there's this interesting clump of hardwoods we're on the other side from where the cemetery is and I saw this kind of interesting hardwood tree right there and it looked like there may be a few more so I thought we'd walk over here just kind of take a look and see if there's anything in this area why they didn't cut it see chinaberry trees and I feel blackberry thorns ripping through my leg and the closer you get the more you realize it's it might hole. be impassable. Yeah, it is a <laughs> hole. Uh, it's filled up with muscadine vines. Yeah, I don't know. I guess maybe that's why they didn't cut that, because it is down in a hole. Might be a little springy area or something like that. And definitely let it be said, it is a mucky day here in Georgia today. That water looks like it's been standing there for a while, too. And that is exactly what we've been driving through to get to some of these places. And before we leave out of here, I think it's worth pointing out again the, the fact that you can see all of the pine trees and, and the timber around this place. But the cemetery, which has been uh, protected from being cut, uh, is a totally different type of landscape there. And that's kind of one of the things that we always look out for when searching these old cemeteries, especially when they're in the middle of timber property like this. All right, so we've got actually one more stop to look at something before we head out of here, but I thought I'd include some of the drive back out of this cemetery because it's, um, it's far back in the woods and down a Jeep road, although Cecil did bring the mighty soul down here, so. It wasn't uh, raining when I brought it down here, though. Yeah. This is a waypoint to find the cemetery that I thought was worth noting on this video. Cecil was telling me that when he uh, first learned about the cemetery that the Model T axle was something to look for on the way to find it. There it is. There it is, part of someone's old truck. Old bird's got his nest in there. So part of someone farming something back here or doing something back here rather. It's got the original spoke calf over here. You know, I wonder how long ago that was, uh, you know, someone's vehicle. I don't know. And last time someone was doing something with it. There's some other stuff over there too. I don't know what that is, but it's a box of some sort. Hmm. That's just uh, more evidence of people doing stuff out here in the past. I don't think any of the people in that cemetery were alive when that, that was a truck, were they? No. Nope. They, they never saw such, so. Interesting landscape out here, too. Oh, we're going to keep on trying to make it back out. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed seeing this uh, historic cemetery. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, big shout out to Cecil for uh, taking me on this tour today. There's some uh, amazing stuff you found for real out here. I wouldn't have been able to.